Hey love bugs, welcome back to writing. Today we're gonna continue exactly what we did yesterday. We're gonna be using a compound subject to start our writing. And we're gonna make sure that in our writing today, we use feeling words to let the reader know how we're feeling. Now, I have a story that I'm gonna tell that deals with a certain feeling, but you can write about any kind of feeling that you want. So if you wanna write about a happy moment and then use a happy feeling word, um, if you want to write about an excited moment and then use an excited feeling word, if you want to write about a scary moment and use a scared feeling word, a sad moment, we have so many different feelings, don't we, love bugs? So whatever moment you want to write about, that's wonderful. You just go with it, write about that moment, and then the second sentence, you want to try to use a feeling word to show how you were feeling in the moment. So I'm gonna write to you about something that happened yesterday, okay? So I'm gonna start with that word, yesterday. Capital Y, E, E is an E, S, S, T, R, day, D, A, Y. Now my compound subject for this, love bugs, um, I wanna tell you about yesterday. So I'm gonna talk to you about it first, yesterday, Kaylin and I went bike riding, and Kaylin is trying her best to learn how to ride her bike without training wheels, which is a very exciting time. It can also be a little bit scary, you know, because she's trying something new. She has to do it on her own, and sometimes when you do that, you topple over a little bit, and sometimes you might take a little spill, you know, and it, it can make you feel mad or angry. So I'm going to use those feeling words in the writing about what happened. So I'm going to say yesterday, Kaylin. Then I do a finger space, Kaylin and I, which is a sight word and it's always capitalized. Yesterday, Kaylin and I went. W w w w good. E e e e n t. Went bike. B b b. Good, I, k, riding, r, i, d, e, n, g, period. Let's read so far. Let's check our work. Yesterday, Kaylin and I went bike riding, period. So I know that that sentence is done. Now what happened is, Kaylin fell, and sometimes that happens, right? And when that happens, she got mad. So I'm gonna say, Kaylin fell and scraped her knee. And she, when she fell and scraped her knee, she, she was upset. So I'm gonna say, Kaylin fell and was upset, okay? Because upset is a feeling word. Kaylin fell. L, L, Kaylin fell and was, remember, I spell was W-A-S, right? So those sight words come in handy. Kaylin fell and was very, V-E-R-E, upset, up, p, s, e. And I'm gonna put an exclamation point because she was mad. So let's see. Yesterday, Kaylin and I went bike riding. Kaylin fell and was very upset. So as I draw my picture, love bugs, okay, I'm gonna make. And I'll put Kaylin's helmet. Kaylin has a helmet. It's got a unicorn horn that lights up and like little spiky things here. And it's got unicorn ears. Yeah. And then it has a little chin strap. Okay. And then here's Kaylin's hair. Now, as I'm drawing this picture, love bugs, I want you to think about what you might want to write about today. I wrote about a moment where somebody got upset. So we have those moments, right? And then maybe I'll put in the background Kaylin's bike. 
So maybe you want to write, write, write that, <laughs> write about a time you got upset. We all feel that way sometimes, right? Maybe you want to write about a time again that you were really happy or excited or scared or sad. Whatever you were feeling, it's great to write about those feelings. So we want to make sure that we put that feeling in that second sentence. So today when you write, try for one of those different beginnings. I used yesterday. Try for your compound subject. I used Kaylin and I. And I told you what we did. We went bike riding. So in that first sentence, I'm just kind of stating what we did. And then in that second sentence, I'm going for a feeling word to let you know how we were feeling in the moment or how one of us was feeling, right? So that we can let that reader kind of connect with us. And maybe the reader reads this and says, oh my gosh, I remember when I went bike riding and I fell once and I got mad too. Yeah, those things happen or I felt upset too. Or maybe it's a really exciting moment like you saw an animal at the zoo and you were so excited and it was so cute. And the reader can connect with you and say, oh, I remember when I saw a zebra at the zoo and I felt that way too. I was so excited, it was so fun. That's why we wanna do that. We want whoever reads our writing to connect with us and say, wow, I know what that's like. I know how you feel. So love bugs, impress me today. Write to me about something. If you can't think of something real that happened, you can be creative and imagine it and write about something that never really happened to you, but you can write like it did. Maybe you can make up two different characters that you don't even know. That's always fun too. So do your best. If you have questions, let me know. And if not, take a picture of your beautiful writing and drawing because I can't wait to read it and I can't wait to see it.